yo what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i have an apex legends video for you and i'm going to show you guys my settings for apex legends season 7 let's do it all right guys welcome back make sure to drop a like hit the subscribe button if you're new here for more tips and tricks to improve your apex legends gameplay now let's hop right into my settings all right guys today's video is just going to be all about my settings they've changed slightly since the last season in season six so i wanted to share them with you guys i know you guys always really do enjoy uh these settings videos so we're gonna bring another one for you for this season uh i can't say enough things about this season so i've been uh, having an absolute blast with the map and the new legend horizon but i wanted to showcase my settings to kind of help you guys out going into uh the rest of the season okay so gameplay we're just going to break everything down real quick uh i'm not going to go into much detail with a whole lot of these things i'm just going to kind of tell you which ones you really need the important uh ones to have on and ones you you know that really should matter as far as the game but other than that everything else shouldn't shouldn't have changed too much from my last video guys so um prompt style compact button hints always on um crosshair damage feedback always with shield icon so you can see hit the shield tells you the color tells you the damage easy along with that damage numbers guys you always want stacking do not change this whatsoever it always needs to be stacking so you can have the total number of number of damage that you've done if you do floating or whatever you're gonna have to do some quick math unless you're a freaking genius i don't know what that's gonna be so if you do stacking you do a total number like oh 96 purple damage or you know 96 red whatever the case is so make sure this is on stacking ping capacity always on default never do faded Obituaries on. I like to uh, have this on, guys, just to see who's in the lobby, if there's any people I recognize, etc. Mini map rotation off. That just means when you're moving around, if you change directions, the map changes with you. Uh, I just leave this off. Just makes the things a lot easier, especially for callouts. Weapon cycle always on, guys. Change this needs to always be on. When you run out of ammo, you automatically swap, and you need to be completely out of ammo for this to take effect. So, always on. Auto sprint off. Uh, although I have seen and heard that some people like this on, so they don't have to. You know keep pressing their joystick down to do it but i like to have full control of my guy so i know i have auto sprint off double tap the sprint also off incoming uh damage feedback you can do whatever you want with this one i just like 3d take damage on death box menu this is great turn this on guys that means when you're looting in a death box if somebody shoots you you automatically come out of the death box which makes it easy to help you get away from uh you know hopefully you don't get knocked so turn this off hop up pip pop up determines if the hop up pop up ui element will show when a hop up is attached to a weapon i like this on it's a new feature that they've added to apex in the last coming seasons or the last few updates so turn this on i like it it's something new otherwise turn it off it's totally up to you it doesn't matter streamer mode i have off you know you can have this on if you don't want people to know your name um always uh, anonymous mode you can do the same thing anonymous display of a player's name in the champion presentation uh this is the kind of the same thing as streamer mode but you could have this on and have this off uh, use of steering always have this on guys to help um you know even though it's ea i'm not a big fan of ea but have this on to help respawn uh improve apex legends cross platform this is new if you go to turn it off your clubs and stuff will be all changed um but we want to leave this on we want cross play although we're only playing with xbox players hopefully something will change in the future but performance delay or display i like this on this is just like if you're on pc it shows your fps packet loss all this stuff i like to have this on although we're on console so it is going to show that constant you know 60 frames but you may have it be less or if you're on a regular playstation 4 you're not going to have the 60 frames unless you got the pro so club invites enabled turn this on guys clubs are a great new feature in apex so turn this on colorblind mode i've done with this a couple times just to change the uh you know the colors and stuff but i would just went the same thing i went red i keep it off man subtitles off Subtitle size off, enable chat features off, converting income tax. Okay, off. All right. Button layout, guys. I'm still on default. Nothing's changed there. If you have to play claw or anything else, you could do bumper jumper um, or customize it flat out. And I know some people do this, but I like default. Seems pretty good. With other FPS games that I play, default just works. So stick layout, also default. Interact, uh, reload button, tap to use and reload. Much easier. If you have to hold, if you're used to it, go ahead. But tap to reload is just much easier, much faster. Um, crouch button now here's the thing bunny hopping's back guys you can definitely bunny hop for sure uh for console players with a controller if you guys turn this to hold right instead of toggle right you can hold it and then just tap your jump button as you go to slide away this will help you bunny hop you know it's not the best bunny hop as it was many many seasons ago but you can definitely still bunny hop a little bit i keep mine on toggle though i want to be able to toggle it be behind something and then toggle back out 
Aim button, always hold instead of toggle. Uh, L2, R2, dead zones. You want this off or none. The higher the dead zone, the worse. It determines how sensitive the buttons are when pressed. So if you have none, the least amount of sensitivity it takes to ADS or throw your grenades or bring up something. Okay, definitely have this off. Now, menu, menu cursor speed leading into our sensitivities, guys. Again, this is going to be all based on you. If you want to, guys want to copy my settings, feel free. This has really, really worked for me. So um, what I used to have this on is one, two, three, four, or four. I used to have this just about at the one bar mark, but we have changed that. We're almost two full bars, guys. This is when I'm looting a box. I can quickly go down, armor swap, and then get back into the gunfight. And just increasing that speed has made it much better for me. So definitely start. At one bar, that seems to be a really good balance, and then go up. So I like mine just about uh, two below the second bar. Now, sensitivity, guys, the big banger of the video. So look sensitivity has changed slightly. My ADS change, uh, look sensitivity has not changed at all. It's still default three. I almost kept it at four, but since last season, I've been doing three, and it's just much better for me, especially in the mid-range gunfights again. Okay, now look sensitivity, it was on five guys last season. But as of late, I just feel like I'm just not looking around slow. I can't really whip, you know, or snap to people um, fast enough. So I turned it up to six, and this is really good. Definitely try out these settings. I know this is kind of a huge gap um, from six to three. I know a lot of people do six, four, or five, six, or five, four, or four, four. I think Dow Tush and them do four, four. Um, but I like six, three. I just want to be able to look around much faster. Um, some people have a different way of doing that, but. Again, guys, the baseline I would do is start at 3.3 and then go up. Look sensitivity at 3 is going to be very low, so I would probably start at 4.3 and then just increase these as you need to. But definitely try out 6.3. It's great. If you don't like to have the fast look around speed, turning down 5.3 is also really good. Um, now, keep in mind that with look sensitivity for super high, even then, I don't have any problems uh, hip firing. Hip firing in the game is still very, very easy with uh, a super high look sensitive sensitivity so try this out let me know what you guys think per optic settings i just keep them the same guys um if i was going to turn this on everything else would be default and then my optics would go up too high afterwards but i keep it off so you can definitely mess around with that if you have problems you know using uh, larger scopes response curve is always classic guys i did do linear for a while as you guys know but classic is always best look dead zone small this just changes if you have this off and you see drift in your, your, uh, you know, your look or whatever your look dead zone. If you're, if you're, the little dot is just looking off, guys. Definitely turn this up. Uh, if you have a little bit of drift, I keep it on small. Small, it just works for me. I have just a slight, a slight bit of drift with it off. So what that means is when it's off, if you look at the cursor, it just kind of just drifts on its own without you touching it. But mine on small works really, really good. So a smaller dead zone just means you have better control. With your looking and aiming movement dead zone same always small guys should never be large inverted look unless you're a freaking psycho this is off vibration always off guys and advanced look controls these are here if you guys want to pause the video and copy these settings i know i did a video for them uh which i'll link above guys which is the alc control settings that i used for a very long time throughout season four and five which were awesome but i eventually went back because i just felt like the control was just a little bit too much. Sometimes it was getting away from me, and I felt like I was losing some gunfights, especially at the longer ranges. So, um, But if you guys want to pause the video and copy these, feel free. Um, all this is here. I'm not going to go into great detail for this, but go ahead and pause the video and copy those. All right, on to video. Brightness, I have this, guys, up. Um, this just works for me, guys. Um, you know, you could change this. I had it on default for the longest time, but since I put it up, it's really just made things a little bit more clearer um, as far as detail. Not necessarily that my screen is a whole lot brighter, but it just works for me for the details. So feel free to copy that and try it out. Um, field of view, always 110, guys. There's no reason this should be below 110. Although I did used to have it on 104, 106, I think, or even 100 I played for a while. But in the end, you just need to have more field of view, and especially on this big, huge map with Olympus. Having the biggest field of view is the best case scenario with this map. So 110. Uh, sprint shake view always minimal um definitely minimal unless you have some kind of weird or you're not you know you don't you're not susceptible to like getting woozy and throwing up <laughs> during the screen shake definitely minimal uh that's fine audio 
Master volume 100, sound effects 100, always, guys. This is your details and footsteps and all this stuff in the game. Uh, dialogue is at 70%, uh, 71, you know, you can change this to whatever. Somewhere around the 60 to 70% mark. Now, music, I like to have the lobby music in regular music just on for when I'm in between matches and stuff. It's just cool. If you're in a party, turn this down, talk to them. Otherwise, you can turn this all the way off to zero. It's totally up to you guys, but I just keep it at 50. It just It's a nice little in the background, you know? Disable voice chat and incoming voice to text chat. You don't need that at all whatsoever. And all right, guys, that is my Season 7 best controller settings. So go out there, try them out. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of my settings this season. Let me know if you have tried them and if you do like them. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more tips on how to improve your Apex Legends gameplay. And for me, Warlogs, as always, guys, stay gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.